Hello and welcome back to FIFA 18 Career Mode with Chessfield FC. I have just realised if we beat West Ham United, we win the fucking Premier League. Let's get in looking at this. If we draw against West Ham United, we need basically we need two points to win the Premier League. And that's it. We beat West Ham with champions. We draw against West Ham. We're virtually champions because we've got a ten goal difference on goal difference against Man United. But I wanna win. Last two old games are gonna be at home. And then the last episode of this season, which will be tomorrow's episode. No. Yeah, tomorrow's episode. We'll be black We'll be Bournemouth in the uh FA Cup final. Right, let's get into it. See if we can't win us a Premier League title. After the disappointment of going out of the Europa League in yesterday's episode. Gone in late on my keeper there, didn't he? Pretty sure that's a foul. Possibly a fucking salt. Oh crap, yep. Bump. Both my uh, my other player followed me, and it's one 0 West Ham. Forwards, you fucking trash! How's that not a fucking foul? No, he's not going to run. He's not going to run down the fucking line, is he? No, he can't run. Apparently. Pass the ball. Pass the fucking ball. Why isn't nobody going? Not one of my strikers decided to run into the centre of the fucking pitch towards the penalty spot there. There was no one fucking there. I had a free pass to him, but no, let's not do that. CPU's controlling them. That means they're fucking dumb. This game should be out of sight by now. Get a game. Look, my fucking. I've got to bring these on. And these won't be fit for the last game of the season, now. Eh? Because I'm having to constantly bring them on. We need a fitness fucking regime for the whole fucking team, not just five fucking players. I said. How's that not a foul? How's that not a fucking foul? There it is. West have won. Pile of fucking trash. I would hope my first team could come out for the fucking last game of the season. This team, he knows that this could well be the day. If they win, they're champions. Uh, as you can hear, I've turned the commentary on. Because apparently you don't get... I've not been seeing any of the... Uh, the games. And welcome to this big match today. You know, coming through with the scores from other games. Apparently, it doesn't come through when you've not got these ass clowns fucking on. So yeah, I've got the commentary on. Hopefully, we'll learn news from the uh, Manchester United Aston Villa against Man United game. Well, there's the first whistle, and the game is underway. Well, let's hope we get a fuck. We get something from this game. So we think it's going to be three-five-two, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this. Formation went out of fashion. Another shot. Oh, no, scrap. no, I wanted that to win guard. Yeah, Fuck me team backwards, team you team bastards. Look 
Come on, go, 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 Diaz. Go. Run. Run, Diaz. They'll want to show themselves in a better light today than that home reverse in their last match against West Ham. Yeah, which is embarrassing. Dude. Dude should have been passing that ball off. Corner. Charge down. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Well, that's because a, a blind person could have seen that, you fucking stupid commentary it's twat. The it's a penalty. <gasps> this could be the biggest fucking penalty of the year. We scored it. I'm shaking like a fucking leaf here. They're even in a stronger position now. They're on the verge of winning the league title today. Yeah, and you've got to admire the way they've approached this match. They've come out, they've been positive, they've taken the game to the opposition. <sighs> so the first goal, it's 1-0. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Oh, come on, man, we're through. We're through. We were through on goal there, ref. They will be champions. Yeah, they're holding it together. Another 45. Yeah, if you like the commentary, I can leave it on for next season. Oh, look at this. Fuck it, they're playing on. Last game of the season. We need to finish this job. Changes, I should say. There are two players coming on. What am I? What am I doing here? What am I doing? For the here. Fucking hell, by what am I doing? God damn it! I want to be this player. In goes the corner. Great save. Anywhere. Out of the box will do. And there is some backup for it. Shots on here. What a goal. On is it top fucking corner. Absolutely unstoppable shot right up into their top corner. Oh, fuck off. Well, that's taken a bit of the wind out of the sails. Still in front, but conceding. Still in front, but conceding? Yeah, a bit of doubt perhaps sets in. It's always easy. How are we still in front? It's one fucking one. That's the case at the moment. Aston Villa's game. It's the second goal for Aston Villa. 77 minutes played. 2-1. Well, there's news coming in. It's reached the supporters already, Alan. Good news. Well, it's fantastic news. And I'm sure that message will get onto the pitch because it can't fail to help them. Now, this looks promising. No, it doesn't. It never does. The shot's off. It's two. Come on. Holy shit, he's, he's, he's won with a Premier League. But he's still getting told because I can't, I don't, I can't uh, pronounce his name. In many ways, this is the great appeal of the game. A team that's given little chance can win as surely they've done with this late goal. Yeah, and I think every single individual has played right. the maximum as opposed to the opposition who haven't been at it. Fucking name. Threading it through. Just the keeper to beat. Oh, that's pathetic. Well, Offside. Brilliant. Right, it's been two minutes. Literally now is two minutes injury time. And let's see how long this referee plays. We need to get the ball at this end of pitch. Because otherwise, he's going to play. All that. And it is. We are fucking Premier League champions. Come on. Fuck the Europa League. Well, Fuck it up its ass. We have won the Premier League. I did say it would come down to this Chelsea game several episodes ago. And it has. And the proximity of the great trophy itself. Yeah, they've had to avoid the look at times, haven't they? But 
they've stuck together as well. Really organised outfit led by a top-class manager. Fully deserved winners. Yes! Come on! And we've won it at home as well. Now we need to improve the squad for the Champions League. Lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home. Hopefully we'll get some fucking money so we can get players for the Champions League. Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 2. Bournemouth 1, Liverpool 1. Burnley 1, Southampton 1. Chesterfield 2, Chelsea 1. Crystal Palace 2, Newcastle United, nil. Manchester City, two. West Bromwich Albion, nil. Stoke City, one. Tottenham Hotspur, one. Swansea City, one. Leicester City, two. Watford, one. Arsenal, one. West Ham United, one. Everton, one. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Chesterfield with 78 points. In second, Manchester United with 74 points. In third, rising up the table are Manchester City with 72 points. In fourth, and falling are Chelsea with 70 points. In fifth, Tottenham Hotspur with 59 points. In sixth, Liverpool with 56 points. In seventh, Stoke City with 55 points. In eighth, Bournemouth with 55 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Aston Villa with 28 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Leicester City with 35 points. Third bottom, West Bromwich Albion with 37 points. Fourth bottom, Burnley with 39 points. Fifth bottom, moving down, are Newcastle United with 41 points. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, the win against me for Burnley is essentially kept them in the league and um, we've got Bournemouth in the next episode so yeah if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed comment in the comment section share the video and I'll catch you next time goodbye